Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here. And today we're going to talk about how your free T4 changes depending on the type of thyroid medication that you are using. And this is really important because a lot of people base their thyroid medication dosing off of their free T4. And you need to understand how the different types of thyroid medication impact your free T4 so that you know if you're actually on the right track. So let's talk about it. We're going to break it down into three main sections here. For the first section, we're going to talk about T4 only thyroid medications. Then we're going to talk about T4 plus T3 combo medications. And predominantly, we're going to focus on natural desiccated thyroid. And then in the last one, we're going to focus on how T3 impacts um, your free T4 level. So let's start off talking about T4 only thyroid medications and in this class we have medications such as Synthroid, Generic Level Thyroxin, and Tyrosint, the Voxels all also in here. And then there's a whole bunch of other medications depending on the country that you live in. And these are the medications that most people are using, right? Most people with hypothyroidism are using a T4 only thyroid medication. So that's why we're talking about it first. So obviously, your free T4, if you're taking a T4-only thyroid medication, will probably increase as you take this medication. That's important first off. So if you're taking, let's say, Synthroid, 100 micrograms, just making that up, and you, you look at your free T4 before and after, you should see that free T4 increasing. I think everyone can understand that. But there's one big problem with that, and that is when you test people, and you test their free T4 and their free T3, you do see that the free T4 increases, but you don't see as much of an increase in the free T3. And that's a big problem. And so the, I have some studies showing that that is the case. And that's usually an indication that even though your free T4 is rising, which is a good thing, your body can't take the free T4 and turn it into free T3. And in fact, other studies, not the one that I'm talking about here, but other studies have shown that no matter how much free T or how much T4 we give you, that's it will never be enough to normalize both your free T4 and your free T3. So that's just important thing to know if you're taking thyroid medication. And that's one of the reasons why I always recommend a combination of T4 plus T3, because you cannot get to that free T4, free T3 normal uh, range that your body should be creating uh, naturally, you cannot get there with just using T4 medication only. All right, so if you fit into that category and you have some issues, you're having problems, or you're not feeling well, you do have some options. For instance, number one, you could consider, con <laughs> consider switching to a different type of T4 only thyroid medication. And in this example, I'm saying consider tyrosine because it's easier to absorb, it's easier to use by your body. Okay, I have a lot of information on tyrosine. You can click through and look at those if you'd like. The second thing you can consider doing is switching to 50 microgram increments of Synthroid or level thyroxine. And the reason for this is simple. The 50 microgram tablet doesn't have as many color additives as the other, other ones do, the other dosages. So like whatever, the 25 micrograms and the 100 micrograms and the 112 and the 88 and so on and so forth. Those have various colors and additives that can impact how your body uses, uses them and how how well they are absorbed. And then of course number three is if you're using level thyroxine, try switching to Synthroid. And if you're using Synthroid, try switching to level thyroxine. Believe it or not, even though they technically contain, contain the same um, medication, which is thyroxine, different people react to, to each one different, a little bit differently. So that does matter. So that's number one, T4 only, and that's how the, your free T4 is impacted there. But what about if you're taking T4 plus T3 combo medications, such as natural desiccated thyroid, and in this list includes medications like Armour Thyroid, WP Thyroid, Nature Thyroid, NP Thyroid's in there as well. Again, there's a ton of different medications that fit this list. I'm just talking about the ones which are predominantly used in the United States. Just realize your country may have their own equivalent. So what happens to your free T4 if you're using these medications? Well, interestingly, even though these medications contain predominantly T4, they contain about each grain of NDT contains about 38 micrograms of T4 and about 9 micrograms of T3. So the vast majority, 70-something percent or so, I'm not doing the math right now, but about that, is T4 medication. 
you would think that it would increase both T4, your free T4, and free T3, you know, your free T4 more, more than your free T3. But that's not actually what we see. So studies have shown, and this is true of my personal experience as well, that when certain people use NDT, their free T4, free T4 levels actually drop. And, and this can happen as your free T3 levels increase. So instead of having both increase, or one increase more than the other, free T4 tends to drop, and free T3 tends to increase. Now this can be confusing for some people, and it leads some people to ever increasing their dose, trying to chase that free T4. Now, the interesting thing about that is, no matter how much you take, your free T4 will never get higher, well, it will eventually, but it's going to cause problems as your free T3 gets ever, ever higher as well. You're never going to get both of those into that optimal range. And the reason has to do with how T3 impacts your TSH, and how your TSH impacts thyroid hormone production. To simplify this, let's just say that T3 is more potent at suppressing the TSH and tends to be more predominant in the serum, T3 does, compared to T4 in some individuals. This isn't true of everyone, but there seem to be some people that are just really sensitive, exquisitely sensitive, to T3 and they respond by dropping their free T4. Some people it's fine. Some people you, they take NDT and their free T4 elevates and their free T3 does as well. But if you're one of those people where your free T4 drops, don't freak out about it because the free T3 and total T3 are more important. Okay, so that's, that's the NDT. You can read more about that if you want. But what about if you're taking, what happens to your free T4 if you're taking T3 only medications such as Cytomel and Lyothyronine? Now, if you're taking these, you might suspect that your free T4 would just stay the same and that probably your free T3 would increase. But that's not actually what we see. Instead, we see your free T4 drop and plummet, plummets actually, it goes even lower than whatever the low range is. So your free T4 will become low if you're only taking T3 medication, and your free T3 should increase, obviously. But we see more than that. And so we tend to see a pattern if you're on a medication such as these, and what we see happen is your TSH level falls. That's normal and to be expected. Same thing happens with if you take any type of thyroid medication, really. Your free T3 level will increase. We just mentioned that. Your free T4 level uh, will decrease, and your reverse T3 level will drop as well. So that's the pattern that we see. And it, the reason for this goes right back up to why it happens when you take natural desiccated thyroid, except one big difference. Not everybody who takes T4, T3 combination medications will see a drop in their free T4, but everyone who takes enough T3 only thyroid medication, th these people will all universally see a drop uh, in their free T4. That's just always going to happen and it has to do with how um, your body is metabolizing and how it's us utilizing T3 um, and the effect that T3 has on uh, pituitary uh, suppression of TSH. That's essentially, in a, in a nutshell, what's happening there, or in a real superficial way to describe it. So that's basically what's happening to your free T4, depending on the type of thyroid medication that you're taking. And again, this is really important, because you don't want to be somebody chasing the free T4, um, especially if your free T3 and total T3 are normal. Those are more important markers when compared to your free T4. But if you are on T4-only medication, like Synthroid or level thyroxine, then that may be your only option, in which case you do want to focus on your free T4. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have any other questions, I know it's a little bit complicated, um, but I tried to make it really easy to understand. But if you have any other questions, leave them below, and I'll do my best to answer those questions as I get to them.